Hello, everyone. In this English episode, we will be focusing on English conversation. Listening to English conversation is an essential part of improving your English language skills. It can help you improve your listening, speaking, and comprehension skills. In this video, if I ask you a question, do you like village or city life? You can comment what you like, and now we will be talking about this. Let's start. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you. How about you? I'm good too. So I was thinking about the differences between village life and city life. What do you think about it? Oh, that's an interesting topic. I personally prefer village life because it's more peaceful and closer to nature. What about you? Well, I have lived in both village and city, and I think both have their pros and cons. For example, in the village, people are more friendly and helpful, but the facilities are not as advanced as in the city. Yeah, I agree with you. In the city, there are more opportunities for education, employment, and entertainment but it's also more crowded and polluted. Absolutely. I think it depends on the individual's priorities and lifestyle. For example, if someone wants to have a quiet and simple life, the village is a better option. But if someone wants to have a fast-paced and dynamic life, the city is a better option. That's a good point. Also in the village, people have closer relationships with their neighbors and they tend to support each other in times of need. But in the city people are more independent, and they rely on themselves more. Yes, that's true. But on the other hand in the city, there is more diversity and exposure to different cultures, which can broaden one's perspective. I agree with you. So overall, I think both village and city life have their own merits and demerits. It's up to the person to decide what suits them best. Exactly. It's all about personal preferences and priorities. But it's always good to have a balance between the two, if possible. Yes, that's a good idea. It's always good to experience both ways of life and appreciate the differences. Hey Anna, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm doing well too. Hey, I was thinking of getting a pet for my house. What do you think? Honestly, I'm not a big fan of keeping pets inside the house. Really? Why not? Well, I think pets can be a lot of work and responsibility, plus they can also cause allergies or other health issues for some people. I understand your concerns, but I think having a pet can be really rewarding too. They can be great companions and help reduce stress. I can see that, but I also worry about the mess and potential damage they can cause. That's a valid concern, but I think with proper training and care pets, can be well behaved and not cause too much trouble. Yeah, I suppose that's true. What kind of pet were you thinking of getting? I was thinking of getting a dog. I love how loyal and affectionate they can be. Dogs are definitely cute and friendly, but they also require a lot of attention and exercise. Do you have the time and energy to take care of one? I do have a pretty flexible schedule, so I think I can make it work. Plus, I think it'll be good motivation for me to get more active too. That's a good point. Well, I guess it's ultimately up to you. Just make sure you do your research and consider all the factors before making a decision. Thanks for your input, Anna. I appreciate your honesty and concern. Of course. Anytime. Let me know if you need any more advice or tips on pet care. Hey Patrick, how are you doing? Oh hey Anna, not so good actually. Oh no, what happened? You look really down. Did you have a fight with your girlfriend again? Me and my girlfriend broke up last night. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? She was cheating on me Anna. I can't believe it. Oh, Patrick, that's terrible. I can't imagine how you must be feeling right now. I don't even know what to do. I thought she was the one. I know it's tough, 
but you'll get through this. You deserve someone who treats you right and doesn't cheat on you. I just feel so lost right now. She admitted to cheating, and I couldn't wrap my head around it. I know it's hard, but try to take some time for yourself and do things that make you happy. Focus on your hobbies and spend time with friends and family. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate your support. Of course. I'm always here for you. And remember time heals all wounds. You'll find someone who loves and respects you for who you are. Let's learn all the new vocabulary that we saw in our conversation. It is essential to know words to speak English fluently. There are many ways to improve English speaking skills, so maybe you talk to yourself in English as you go about your day. Or maybe you look for opportunities to chat in English with people you meet. But however you do it, the most powerful way to improve your English speaking skills is to use them. Listening to a recording of your own voice can feel strange, especially talking in English. But once you get used to it, Recording yourself speaking can be a powerful tool for improvement. The big thing it helps is confidence. I bet you, the first thing you notice when you listen back is that you speak English better than you thought. Another thing is pronunciation, or just feeling the words in your mouth. Speaking a foreign language is a physical workout for your mouth, and you want to get in the gym. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.